Most of us are not scientists, but in many small ways, we do science. When we ask the question, how much light does this plant need to flower well, and then test the different possibilities by putting the plant in one spot and then another, we're doing science. When we drive down the street with the window open wide, then close it little by little until just the right amount of breeze blows in, we're doing science. The capacities that allow us to learn about ourselves and the world around us have their origins in infancy. We are born with the ability to discover the secrets of the universe and with the drive to explore and experiment until we do. Infants and very young children know and learn more about the world than we could have ever imagined. They observe, make predictions, and even test their predictions by doing experiments. Let's watch. Watch this. Woo! Woo! Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at it moves. No more tummy time. Did you see it? Even newborns will turn their heads and look toward an interesting noise. Very young babies rapidly learn that if they kick, something will happen. A baby wonders, what will happen if I open my hand? It's gone. It's back. Will it work if I do it again? Almost all young children in all environments do science most of the time. They experience the world around them and develop theories about how it works. Children come into the world absolutely full of curiosity. It's here, it needs to be explored, it needs to be figured out. And when a child's basic needs have been taken care of, food, sleep, touch, um, then what she will do is <laughs> look around to see what's going on. Science with young children is not a complicated process nor is it an activity that occurs separately from your normal everyday routine. The process of formulating theories based on experience happens during art activities, block building, in dramatic play areas, during snack and outdoor play. This is absolutely the basis for learning and it goes on. Any human animal will continue to find out what is happening here and understand it. I think people, unlike most other animals, have to understand what something means. It's the nature of, of human consciousness. Um, and children will keep right on exploring, uh, creating patterns, organizing the world for themselves as long as they have the opportunity to. All of this means that ordinary adults, like you and I, have a more powerful connection with science than we might have thought possible. Remember, we were all once children and potential scientists.